Okay, Jill. Um, let's go to work. Uh, yeah, let's do, let's do another one. We can be distracted. We're fine. We don't need to buy nothing for Jill. Good evening. Hey, I'm being evicted tomorrow, guys. Can you guys spot me like some money? <laughs> okay, so we got almost everything, but we're still missing a couple of things for Saturday. And so I design designate you, Gillian. Applegate? As official guy who goes to buy the rest of the stuff. Applegate? I have no idea who that is. Why me? I should send Jill, but I wouldn't dare send a lady by herself. <laughs> and I can go with her, but I believe the bar would have at least two people, should at least have two people in the vicinity at all times. Not gonna say anything, Jill. If it means, means not being delivery girl, I'm happy to fake helplessness. Fine, give me that list. I'll be back sometime. Don't make something you're planning something, boss. What gives you that impression? I call it a gut feeling. Did you know Gil has a crush? He what? Kind of is. A girl that owns a bazaar. She's been coming in, coming to him, onto him for ages, but he's only started opening up. But he's taking a step backwards, and he's not gonna. <laughs> I'm not gonna let him. He's opening up for freak's sake. And so the errands are taking to the bazaar. I take it. That's right. Huh. All right then, to the office I go. Bazaar, or bazaar, bazaar, bazaar. Whatever. Time to mix drinks and take change lives. Yo, the crush, huh? This place, great. Oh, if it isn't. Oh, hey, you. I got you the drink actually. Hey, sorry, but this anywhere I can hide. There's an unpleasant guy in my chat. Boss, stock woman incoming. The door is open. Go ahead. Go to the left. Thanks. Hello there. Oh, hi there. Oh, it's the other one. That's the bathroom. Wait, what's the dog doing in the bathroom? Now, where is she? Oh, no, it's you. Oh, <laughs> hey, kid. I'll have the usual. Right. All right. You remember me after two weeks. He's doing a double cheese and... Wait, no, this is a bar. Let's get you a big beer. Uh, one, one, two, one... One, two, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, one, one, two, one. Big beer all mixed. One, <laughs> you crazy man. Three, four, and five. Big beer for you. This seems right. Papers has been a mess lately. You think with all that's happening, they'd stay and do more reports, but they're all asking for vacations. I can't afford to be on the staff. If I had to come up with some reward for whoever produces the most reports. I see no difference in my feed though. Mr. Donovan. I don't mean to sound rude, but you do know that the, the infamy of the augmented eye with the general public, right? A crappy page that would over -sen sensationalize everything and report useless things. Of course I know. Then why not try to rectify that image? To put it simply, I'm being clutched by the balls in the non-pleasant way. W2 Corp and company have an eye on every publication they haven't bought yet. You pour on them once and they'll find something to find or to do with twice and you'll find your resources severely cut. Anything beyond that, and the best case scenario is that they'll buy the damn operation to keep it quiet. Ah, oh, crap. I missed something. Um, keep it quiet. I know there are more newsworthy things than whatever it is I, the lackeys picked out that week, but if I overstep, my ass is on the line. Huh. Glad to see this hellhole still in one piece. The BTC has been going ape, freaking going crazy closing bars today. Oh yeah, that. Yesterday, they closed one of, They closed one that served as a key part of a drug trafficking ring. Then last week, they closed three small bars that served as illegal chicken restaurants. Huh. Not to mention, there are like a hundred people who have BTC certificates but never use them. Instead, they keep those credentials around to stop police from raiding their homes or warehouses. I don't know about you, but it's obvious to me that there's some restructuring will begin at the BTC after the whole thing. Man, things are deeper than I thought. And no news outlet talks about that. Alright, yeah, let's try Moonblast now. Come again? Yeah, <laughs> hey, even I have to break the routine from time to time. Damn. Oh, Moonblast it is. One, two, three, four, five, and six. One of these, one of these, and two of these all on the rocks and blended. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Bam. Moon blast for you. Here you go. <laughs> Let's see what the rocks is about. Okay, so, um, what brought you here? All right. You see a little coming in here. Blue hair, big tits. She's one of the encore. She's one from the encore concert coming up. Not really. Did she jump on the roof then? Why were you looking for her? You want to interview? Not really, just hitting on her. Hey, I said hitting on her, not hitting her. Stop glaring. Why though? Are you that bored? Don't you have like a family or something? Have you seen that girl? Hot as tit. I mean, hot as mm, tit and tit. I'm suffering the weirdest combo of being hard as freak and curious as crap right now. I just want to know how detailed these King Clash CH1A models, Pia? models are personally. And so you followed her. I've yet to meet a woman that can resist the charms of Donovan D. Dawson. You're in front of one, and I'm guessing you have quite the selective memory. Like I said, don't you have a family or something? A wife. That woman cheats on me as much as I cheat on her. In fact, I'm pretty convinced she gets off on the thought of me cheating on her. Oof. The Lillum isn't here, huh? I have to find a busty enough replacement. Tonight or I'll explode. Hey, after you're done glaring, please turn me to power driver. Alright. Do they have food? Or at home? Power driver it is. 
one, two, three, one, two, three, and one, two, three, and four. All mixed. Two, three, four, and five. File door for you. Here you go. All right. Seeing as she's not here, I have no reason to stay. Maybe I'll find someone that looks a bit like her. <laughs> Weirdo. The guy left. All right. Thanks for sheltering me, Dana. Your sister likes the video. No, thank you. Seems you had a hearty talk. Your boss is such a fun person. Her sister is a fan of mine, so I recorded a small video for her and took a couple of photos. When I see you, it's nothing really. She didn't hide me. She did hide things. At least I could do. Well, well. Anyway, we're here. Mind serving me something sweet? Sure. Uh, something sweet, huh? I have this, but uh, I don't know if you'd like that right now. Uh, sweet. Let's get you a... You're blue. I'll get you a blue fairy. <laughs> You're blue. I'll get you a blue fairy. Why not? Our, our, our optional karma train. Um... I'll age and mix. Just something sweet. I'll get you a little bit. Yeah. Age and mix. One, two, three, four, and five. Bam, bam. Blue fairy for you. Thanks. So you know why Donovan was following you? <coughs> I don't, but I wasn't in the mood to deal with him. His questions were a bit over the line last time, too. Not the worst I've dealt with, but I just didn't want to humor him. See, it seems like she was trying to come on to you. You don't say. Well, not like he'd have a chance anyway. I'm not into older guys, and I'm already com committed into a relationship. Figure Wait, you are? It's not common knowledge, and the ones I hear it try to dismiss it as rumors, but I've been in a relationship with my producer for a while now. Really. We're both single, and that kind of stuff is bound to happen when you spend so much time together. But it all started when the, he read an entry I made in the blog about wanting to experience love and the like. He offered to help with that, and after, after he read it, and I thought, sure, why not? And I already knew him well enough, so it wouldn't hurt to try. How oh, nice. He's a stick in the mud with planning his deal, but he's a sweetheart otherwise. I see. You know, I met two fans of yours lately. Really. Both of them seemed so excited that they were... That when... They were talking to you. It was amazing. <laughs> I don't like the term fans so much. It strikes me as a bit pretentious in my opinion. I have many fans. It doesn't sit so well, but I have many people who like my music better. I like that better. Fan evokes an ugly and more pretentious image for me. Like, do you like what I do, Joe? Do you like my music? To be honest, I had much exposure to your work, but a few things I've heard are really good. I'm not gonna lie, having talked to you, I feel like I would support you even if I didn't like it. So nice to hear. Okay, this is sound familiar, but you have anything like tea? Let me see. Yes, I do. Actually, I have Mulan tea. They just mix it, right? One, two, three, four, and five. Okay, there you go. <laughs> Perfect. Hey, you're King Class Chia, right? That I am. May I ask you something about your model? Sure. Is there any differences between you and a DFC-72? Hmm. They both serve the same purpose, but DFC-72s have a port on their heads which makes them more versatile. My line lacks that, or the resilience of the DT-01Ds, but we're a tad more polished elsewhere. More specifically, our voice emulators are more advanced and our movements are smoother. A trade-off of functionality and power for appearance, you could say. I see. Anything new for this concert? Uh, well, it's an encore, so we're trying to make it the same for those who couldn't go for the first one. But we always try to spice it up, maybe with a surprise song or something. There was this one time I sang a cover of a song by B-Link. Of course, in return, they sang Your Love is a Drug. Huh. You know the B-Link girls? Really nice kids. You'd be surprised how different from their onstage, or how different from their onstage personas they are. Really, Suzu, for example, can be really childish at times, but she also laughs a lot and loudly at that. Meanwhile, Ayana is a party girl through and through. And if they're not on tour, she spends her time partying like crazy. Huh? Hard to believe. I mean, their image is that of stoic girls with little expression, almost like living Victorian dolls or something. Well, they wanted to pop out in the public. They once told me, if we want people to notice us, we have to break the cutesy idol concept. And so they took the opposite route by becoming cool beauties with melancholic songs. I wouldn't say that we went the opposite way. The opposite of cutesy idols would be unkempt, tone-deaf girls spewing vitriol and hate. Sure, I guess. Well, I've got to go. But let's make, let's have a sparkle star first. All right. Uh, sparkle star it is. Uh, let's see. How do I make that? I don't think I've ever made that. Sparkle star. Hey, get it right. right. One, two, one of these. And do I get you a car machine? Sure, why not? Uh, just one, though. Now look. Just a little bit, just a little bit. All age and mix. One, two, three, four, and five. Sparkle star for you. Here you go. Sparkling. Oh, always a pleasure, Joe. Please come again. Will do. Oh, the handsome bartender. Nice to meet you. Um, oh, my boss, Gil's back. I'll take my break. All right. She called Joe handsome. <laughs> oh my goodness. How nice. I think we're good. Okay, safe to keep going. Note so. Why over for that door? Is it freaking oily not oily. it needs oil to wait huh it needs, it's squeaky that's what it is. all right then ah, mm -mm. yo you're in my spot please oh sorry also you're cleaning one of the boss's chicken buckets did boss ask you to do that if i told you she did would you believe me without a doubt let's go with that then 
All right. Uh, greetings. Hello, Cat Boomer with the cat cat procedure, whatever it's called. I was a bleeding Jane today. Boss. How does boss hair stand like that? Okay. Uh, one of these. One, two, three. One, two, three. All blended. That's it. That's it. That's it. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Bleeding Jane. Here you go. Thank you. Brought you here today. Waiting for say? I came by myself, actually. I was in the area and stopped by to say hi. Oh, hi. It's pretty interesting, though. When I first saw you, I doubted you'd ever come here again. But this place is comfortable, I must admit. It's so quiet and secluded. It's also clean. Really clean. You is the one you can know that, too. The guy takes pride in how clean and keeps things around here. If you ever need cleaning stuff, he's a nice pick. Really? Oh. <laughs> he's a bit out of it today, though. I see. Hey, Gio. Have you heard of the new gold rush in the city? Gold rush? Everyone's paying small fortunes to get their hands on pieces of white knight suit. I, I think I heard or read something about that, but I'm having doubts, so probably not. In any case, how's it a gold rush? Well, the tech behind the suit was always safely guarded, but after the events of the bank... Sorry. After the events of the bank, the suits were remotely shut down, breaking many of them in the process. Many units dropped their armor right there and fled to the lynchings... Fled when the lynchings went on. And any white knight still stuck on their head... Wait, what? Any white knight still stuck on their suit had to take the armor off manually to run away. Okay. It all happened in the middle of the lynching, so they had, they'd be sitting ducks if they didn't. They weren't that, some weren't that lucky, they got beaten up while they weren't able to move. But between the suits became glorified paperweights and many white knights going in on the run. Mm, there ended up being a lot of junk lying around. But the whole scientific community is rejoicing. They're on the race of reverse engineer, or to reverse engineer the suits to take as much technology as possible from them. And of course, even single pieces of armor fetch a high price these days. Did anyone see any profit from that research to justify those expenses? I mean, this new text, a whole new field arrived with patient patents just open for many, so I'd say yes. Huh. I mean, the BTC is literally a conglomerate built upon page patents and trademarks. I can see how. There's this one weird case, though. Huh. There's this guy named Jack. He's the captain of a very unique Blitz Craig Corpse unit. Unique. The guy had a really small unit. Five people, including himself. The aesthetics of his unit's armor here was heavily modded to the point that they looked like a squad of henshin heroes. And what? Uh, hmm, they looked really gaunt. But it turned out the guy actually broke through the software and disabled the remote switch. He has one of the few, if not the only, suits of armor with the OS intact. They say they're among the most wanted people. Or to say that they're the most, they're among the most wanted people would be an understatement. You know a lot about this. It's interesting. The amount of things you hear when dealing with drunk people of all kinds in the same place. Because it helps to put on a front that makes people lower their guard. That should sound familiar to you. True. Hmm. Wait. Here's a freebie. A fun fact. The failsafe was originally going to involve the armor blowing up and leaving no traces, but regulations and laws didn't allow that kind of technology. Did you, did you like, brrr, near civilians? Did I see that right, or am I crazy? I guess even Zaibutu Corp has its limits, huh? People love to demonize Zaibutu Corp, but let's face it, they're far from innocent. They're not evil overlords, they're just greedy. That's a big corporation. They just so happen to have control over what 10 amounts to the city state. Yeah, the corporations will naturally resort to draconian methods. I've heard horror stories from people outside the city about trying to use product placement. If you so much as hold a bottle the wrong way or again the wrong way of a logo, you'll be in for lots of trouble. Now let's not start with theme parks or the like. Those are dystopias of their own. Then again, most of the demonization is due to Quincy being such a clown. He has no power anyways. He's just a front of whatever council behind Zubitsu Corp choose chose. He makes a fool of himself and the attention is taken away from whatever it is that Zubitsu Corp is actually doing. Sigh. Yeah. So what he's saying is that Glitch City is basically a huge theme park. I called the White Knights the glorified mall security in the past, but yeah. Huh. I guess. No, seriously. And what? <laughs> Can I get a Brantini here, please? Sure. A uh, Brantini? A rabbit? Uh, Brantini. Okay. One. Nope, not that. Two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three. One of these all age and mixed. One, two, three, four, and five. There we go. Brantini for you. Thanks. I think you're in a good mood today. Does it show? A bit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I managed to get to have a couple of tickets with the Kira Mickey Encore concert tonight. All right. Turns out she was just here. Again? That's right. Again? I can't believe I just missed it. I was surprised too. I was more, I was more surprised she even remembered my name though. Like last time, she was quite a, a graceful client. Man, so those rumors about her really being nice in person are actually true. Amazing. I mean, you always want the fans to be able to be nice in real life. But having such backing to that claim, to hear that she's so nice to everyone, it's nice to hear, you know? In fact, if anything, that's what made her famous so quickly. How she's so down to earth and totally accessible, making her someone everyone wants to root for. I ah, see. Yeah, I mean, I guess you don't want to feel like supporting crappy people. Although, to be honest, I've never put much thought into that one. How? 
Heck, half the time I have no idea who made what I use. I don't know what I do I care much. Being a nice person would take you far though. My daddy always insisted my daddy always insisted that being ruthless in the boardroom doesn't mean being an ass. And he also has actually managed to get certain contracts over other more powerful people. All thanks to being a nice guy overall. Sounds like good advice. But more importantly, Daddy, <clears throat> do you really believe do you really believe me saying she was here that easily? You're not the kind of lie about stuff like that, so sure. Thanks again. That said, can you go to the concert obviously? What about security and all like? My dad always has a unit keeping an eye on me from a distance. And you'd be surprised about how easily I can disguise myself with just a different hairdo and a cap. I see. I wonder if I can get into the disabled line with say with the inner wound wounds. Though she'll probably nag me about how she doesn't need it and we shouldn't abuse that. Yeah. Can you give me a classic drink? Sure. I just bought seriously like that. Classic, huh? A beer? A beer. A beer bleeding chain. Bleeding chain because it's red. Or a beer. Because it's a beer. I get you a beer. I think you've had a beer before. I get you a beer. Uh, one of these, two of these, and one, two, three, and four all mixed. Boom. One, two, three, and four, and five. Beer. Here you go. Thank you. There are many servants around the house, Stella. They do, but they've been with us for so long, they're pretty much family. And that has always said that if you earn so much trust, they'll gleefully work for you and everyone wins. We even had our young gardener who left to study engineering and he actually came back. He still comes by every weekend to attend to the plant. And that sounds nice. I mean, no, if you're ever in the need for a job, I might find you something. Thanks for the offer. Wait, hmm? I just realized something's off with the whole tech gold rush story. What would it be? Wouldn't all the tech be patented anyways? Like, I get trying to crack in in the first place, but that would be true if the tech was pat patented in the first place. It isn't. W2 has been so paranoid about making the White Knights untouchable that they never patented, patented any, every, anything. A patent would be in the database that someone could hack and retrieve valuable info from. Not to mention they've been using tech from other companies without any authorization. So no patent reg registry in their right mind would approve of that global shutdown signal. I don't know how it immobilized everyone still inside of those suits. So the ones that were upholding the law did so using suits that were all me by all means illegal. The irony runs deep, wouldn't you agree? Why would you do it though? When you have so much money, you start thinking what you can screw around with the rules. How you can screw around with the rules. All the power makes you think you're above every law there is. And this city is what happens when those with money start making the rules. I'm curious though. Have you ever covered up covered up any mess ups by using money? I think we've all done things we're not too proud of at some point of our lives. Well, Joe, I gotta go. Always a pleasure. Please come again. Oh, Alma. No, hello. You're pretty insistent on that one, aren't you? It's basic courtesy. Something I will fight to uphold. First the greeting stopped, then saying please and thanks up, and before you know it, boom, total anarchy. You're exaggerating. I'm not. In fact, I'll go through the door again. I expect you to properly greet me this time. Fine. Hello, Jill. Once upon a midnight dreary, while I pondered weak and weary, huh? Over many a quaint and curious volume of forgotten lore, while I nodded nearly napping, suddenly there came a tapping. As of someone gently rapping, rapping against my chamber door. Tis some visitor, I muttered, tapping at the chamber door, only this and nothing more. You overdid it. You totally overdid it. What the button there? I did not. Uh, you like poetry? I had a face. Can I get you something? Let's start with the big cobalt velvet. Sure. <laughs> that was awesome. Uh, wait. Not big. Cobalt velvet. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, and five of these. Ten of these. Damn. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. On the rocks and mix. One, two, three. Three, four, and five. Bam, cobalt velvet for you. And it's big. Uh, there's something I've been wondering about for a while. Hmm. Does the name Shadow Master 69's Chronicles ring any bells? Ugh. Oh, you went pale. No, no, there ain't. It doesn't ring any bells. May 22nd. Today, my daily card readings told me that I'd never grant changed thanks to an old man. My biology, biology teacher told me I had been picked for an inter school contest with my latest essay. And I just knew a scientific theory on the idea of auras was as revolutionary as I thought. Soon I'll bring the world into cult science singularity. Later entries don't seem to have gone that well though. Mentions of being laughed at, being lectured by on the essay was wrong. Jill? I made sure to delete that blog. No evidence should be left. Okay. I can think of at least six different sources off the top of my head that, that have all that stuff archived. Why? See, your life. I'm not that bad. What do you mean it's not that bad? Don't you realize how embarrassing it all is? We've all been young, Joe. Relax. It's not like you're still like that nowadays. That would have been embarrassing. You're not still like that, right? Oh, God, it's not. I give up on the whole cult stuff. It's just that remembering all that stuff is... <laughs> I don't know. I like the way you look. All dressed in black with a rare accessory popping out thanks to the colors. 
I mean, at least you had a decency to use makeup to take care of yourself. So you have a pick. Oh god, you have a freaking pick. Why do you do this to me? Why do you dig out the sins of my past? I was bored. Last Friday, I had to take my mind off the whole day on and things. So I ran a small background check on you. Simple stuff. Just checking past internet activity. Please don't run a background. Please don't run background checks like that. I just use a search engine, you know? I didn't request documents or anything. Well, let's see the page. You do realize your main mail account everywhere is still the one you used back then, right? <laughs> like I said, relax. You were obsessed with occultism. I want to kiss all the boys. And I don't, I kind of almost accomplished that in middle school, but it still sort of haunts me today. So I never underestimate the lengths of old classmates who go to track you down. Especially if they think you're still the girl that kissed them for fun and they're lonely to boot. We all have things we're not too proud of as adults. Now that I know how criminals feel when evidence is used against them. I have to ask, why the 69? It's supposed to be 69, not 69, like in reverence to both the lovers and the hermit. I was convinced it meant wise choices. Yo, there's nobody that would read that as 69. I, I was 12 at the time. Even at 12, I freaking knew what 69 was. Just how innocent were you back then? You have no idea. Well, let's swing things a bit. I have a sugar rush. Here. Uh, uh doze off. Sugar rush. That's okay. One, two, one of these, and I'll give you one of these, because why not? Uh, I'll mix one, two, three, four, and five. Bam, sugar rush for you. Here you go. This is the thing. Hey, Alma, speaking of the fast, not past, how was your last long term relationship like? That's sudden. You took through my past. I've run the right to take through yours. Fine, fine. Long lasting relationship, huh? Romantic ones, I'm guessing. Yep. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I just realized the music is kind of loud. My apologies. I had no idea this whole time. It's okay, I put it down a little bit. Hmm. Well, I've had about four boyfriends who I'd describe as such that I've introduced to my family and all. The first one was in high school. I broke up with him because he cheated on me. I remember the other girl trying to pick a fight and me just saying, keep keep him, just keep him. I mean, yeah, at that point, yeah, I was like, bro, I'm not fighting for him. You can just, just keep him at that point. Um, that was during my French, but the second one was once during my French freshman year. I broke up with him after he thought it'd be funny to punch me in the arm. He starts with a friendly hit and before you know it, anyways. The other guy I met shortly after I dropped out. He was interested in marriage, but if he wanted to get married, he wanted to get married after only half a year or so of knowing him. And then there's Richard, who I almost spent four years with him. We got along pretty well. We had awesome chemistry, and I truly loved him. But as time went by, there was a rift that started separating us. He just didn't like my family. He didn't. Moreover, he wasn't a family person. He distanced himself from his own and voiced that he didn't want kids. There was a part of me that wanted to believe, even if just for a little bit. Maybe he changed his mind. But as much as I loved him, that one detail about us growing a gap between, between us. And at some point, I just had to break up with him. Hmm. I'm not here to depress you. Bring me a beer, would you? Sure. Uh, a rabbit? A beer. One of these. One, two. Uh, powder Delta. Uh, two, no. Two flying red. One of these. And one, two, three, and four. I'll mix. One, two, three, four, and five. Bam. Here's a beer for you. Next to me, by the way. Don't mention it. One more question and we're even. I really are embarrassed of that blog, huh? Sure, ask away. At what age did you get those implants in your boobs? Jill, I love you. I know you're saying that in jest, but I've lived through so many rumors about me getting plastic surgery that I can't and won't take it as a joke. As such, and honoring our friendship, I'll just say this. They're real, and they're spectacular. Now ask me a real question before I slap you, okay? I'll grant you one, and only one chance to call me by our full name as compensation, then. I'll gladly take your offer. It's funny that you mentioned slapping, because my real question was, why did you get your hands chopped? Heh, <laughs> chopped. Well, there's a couple of reasons. The first is I spend lots of time typing, and these replacements helped me avoid carpal tunnel, carpal tunnel syndrome. Oh, there's also other utilities, like how I can interface with many devices. For example, there's a tiny computer embedded in my glasses. If I move my index finger, it acts like the computer's cursor. And there's lots more, but they're small things that don't really sound that impressive when I say it out loud. How did your family take the operation? I mean, they took it well enough, except for my mom. She freaked out for months. She even went to the hospital to ask for my hand. Don't you miss them? I mean, sometimes, but just during emotional moments. But as luck would have it, someone else has them. Shortly before my operation, there was an accident on the highway. One of the victims was this young lady whose right hand got completely crushed. I told them to check if they're compatible and all that. I mean, implants are not everyone's first choice if they can get a natural replacement. A bit of a cosmetic treatment and it could pass up as her original hand with no problem. I asked I heard they were compatible and the family agreed to the donation. I don't know what became of her, but I hope she's fine. And you didn't tell your mom about that? I didn't want her to start pestering the poor girl. But we're going out, we're even out. Are we? You seem pretty pissed about the whole comment regarding your boobs. Again, I'm sorry. It sounded a lot less rude in my head. Yeah, don't worry about that. Besides, I gotta call you Julianne once. No, you don't. Well, uh, why? You just, you just called me by my full name. Are you serious? One chance and only one chance and you just use it up. Damn it. Surprise. <sighs> yeah, Alma. 
This might be a weird tangent, but do you believe in ghosts? Hey, not particularly, no. Although there was a paper I read that was quite interesting. Hmm? I propose a scenario where nanomachine clusters would leave the body after death, and then acting as a collective hive mind through residual brain waves, the result would basically be an image not unlike a hologram. But of course, the hypothesis fell through because such nanomachine density is impossible in a body. Even 5% of the amount needed is enough to make the blood too dense for the heart. And it's not like brain waves are potent enough to create a enough to create these reactions. Do an interesting read though. I see. Hmm. Hey, don't give me that look. It's not my fault. You're convinced yourself that you're crazy. Well, I'll leave then. See you tomorrow. See ya. All done? I am. What about you, Gil? For some reason, the idol girl left him like that. Seems. Well, okay. Left him like that. You think? Might have been while he was out. True. Hey, boss. You're a fan of wrestling, aren't you? I mean, you were a wrestler, so. That I am. Yeah, why? I was wondering. Isn't wrestling fake? Aren't twin tails for little girls and teens eighth with eighth grade syndrome? Eighth grade what? When you get down there, wrestling is as real as a soap opera. I mean, you don't really expect a legal lawsuit to be fixed in the ring, right? Sure. In my ideal world, you would solve legal problems through good old wrestling, but... <clears throat> no, seriously, 8th grade what? But you don't go around calling soap operas fake. It's a show, it just so happens to use fights as an expression. You might as well use it as a unique form of theater. Besides considering the injuries many wrestlers suffer, it's not that fake. Huh. I wouldn't think about it that way. Sadly, I won't stand for anyone bad-mouthing wrestling, so now I have to go and break Gil's back to make you humble. Oh, whoa, wait, what? Come here! <laughs> oh, no. 8th grade, what? Okay. <gasps> we have enough! We have enough! You were charged 10k! She will have a Ruth on her head for another month to send relief and make sure she focuses at work. <gasps> oh, we, like, we have $26. I didn't know it was that much. I barely... Barely freaking made our way. Literally one more mistake, and we wouldn't have one mistake, and we would have oh, wouldn't have had a house. Thank Glob. Yes, we have a house. We have a roof over our heads for another month. Yay! <laughs> okay. New Lillian reg regulations. Um, whatever. The current regulations preventing Lilum from looking too human have been working well so far, but Glitz City's government is planning to create even more new laws, so as to enforce robot-like features among the Lilum in a bid to reduce identity theft. Okay. Glitz City, the first nation to adopt the current standard in artificial intelligence as robotics and robotics, was the first to allow robots into normal society, quickly giving them necessary rights as to a sustain a long-term experiment about the role in human evolution. Unfortunately, First year saw numerous reports of identity theft, resulting in the need for more stringent measures. Measures. It is unknown what kind of laws we'll have in the future regarding their existence. But people look more robot-like by the day, too. Hmm, I guess so. After the Great Earthquake, Salvage Agents of the New Age. Uh, <clears throat> the Great Earthquake that sank large portions of the world five years ago also created an unexpected new profession, Salvage Agents. Summer Aki is one of these salvagers, and she shares her experience with the augmented eye. Seeing big cities like Tokyo and places like Karkis, several kilometers below the ocean surface, that's something that gets to you, you know? Millions live there before the Great Earthquake, and it's hot on me to retrieve their memories, their lives. Aki is now working to retrieve items from a research facility in the Ta Tenga Tengashima Island, Tengashima Island in Japan. And Australia? Australia is a tad more complicated than that. Grand Slam Fighters crying the new heavyweight champion. Hmm. Let's see. Blitz City's most popular pro wrestling promotion crowned the new heavyweight champion yesterday with giant Yasuke. Yeah, Chake Yasuke take, <laughs> taking the gold from fellow Japanese wrestler Justin Liger. Liger? Liger? I don't know. I'll say that one. After previous champion 66, American K was forced to rel relinquish the title due to the head injury. GSF decided to hold a tournament to find a new title award holder. The match ended after an epic 30-minute bout with Giant Yasuke applying a massive German suplex for the 3 count. During an interview with AE, Giant Yasuke told us through a translator that he's waiting for 66 American kids to recover. I won't rest till I beat him clean. So exciting. Only understood what's going on. Okay. Uh, what about you? you guys have anything new? No. Wait. I think that was new. Surviving in Glitz City? Yeah, yeah this is new. Anyway. Any tips for a new friend in this wonderful land? Oh boy, self-deprecated thread. Don't trust in White Knight. Don't go after. Don't go out after 5 p.m. unless you want to get mugged or murdered. Buying a portable. Bring a portable chair everywhere. You have to line up for flour. Lol. Get used to eat what you find. Shortages are getting out of hand. I've been eating rice and butter for months now, but I guess it could be worse. Don't jinx it, please. I have enough as it is. 
So coming here was a mistake. Why would you come here anyway? Visiting family, but now I want to take them out. Do it while you can. Yeah, airlines are leaving the city lol. Then we'll be even be able to escape that thing. Can I even get some weed in this crap hole somewhere? Yeah, I just PM'd you a good dealer. <laughs> lol. Unless I'm mistaken, my grandpa lives here before they turn into the lit city. Huh. And that everything's the same. What do you got, Kira Mickey? Valhalla. Wait, that's us. That's us. <laughs> uh no. No, no, no. That means they're gonna get more customers. Good money, but like that means they're gonna deal with more customers, you know what I mean? The name sounds silly and a bit hard to pronounce. Good thing it's actually called Valhalla. Funny numbers and letters are just the code. Anyway, I visited this cute and small town bar, downtown bar twice after getting lost for a bit. I think the area was called Neon District. At first it was a bit scary because I forgot my way back, but once I got in there, I felt really safe and at home. The bartenders are a bunch of sweethearts and the boss was such a class act. I even took a photo with her and sent a video to her little sister. <laughs> I look forward to visiting again. The drinks are very tasty, even though they weren't made of real alcohol. I don't know if I want the bar, but suddenly become a fan tourism hotspot. That's what I'm saying, man. We're going to have to deal with that crap. Okay. that That's going to be our problem once that goes down. Uh, uh, if people want to start showing up, then that's that's on us, right? To deal with. But, you know. We'll see how that goes. I'm just glad we still have a roof over our heads. But I need to I need to save up now. Because like I need enough to pay rent for the next month. I don't know how long this game is, but freaking I need to hurry. Uh